I shouldn't have any problems with asynchronous messages. Uh, asynchronous. Asynchronous. Nah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. Node-RED 1.0 Beta 3 has been released lately and I actually had the pleasure to test it out on separate server to see what other changes are like and since the announcement says that uh, the release is imminent and they only work right now on documentation and bug fixes and the entire feature list is right now complete. So uh, I wanted to showcase you what is new in Node-RED 1.0 because uh, sooner or later everyone's going to be heading to 1.0 and it's good to have a head start. So let's open Node-RED and see what are the new things and new tools to play with. One of the biggest changes is how close we're going to handle the messages. So in Node-RED 1.0, we're going to have access to our synchronous mode, uh, which is a, a basically, let's call it an upgrade from synchronous. And it's says beautifully explained in this post, which I'm going to link in my article. Uh, but basically the changes I needed to in, uh, introduce the node timelouts and handling the messages better, uh, you will be uh, having an option for the pluggable message routing and that's a great um, way to introduce a custom code into your flow without breaking anything and you're gonna have a better IO scheduling. So I'll leave this post for you to read and let's uh, jump into a node thread and focus on the visual changes first. Now you'll notice that uh, the nodes has been regrouped, uh, it's more logical grouping, now you have your network nodes together, your function nodes together, etc. And uh, there's a couple of nodes missing, which is a Twitter, a GPIO and feed parser. Those are still available via um, Palette Manager, so you can just jump in there and uh, download them if you need them. Now there's a couple of uh, shortcuts also that uh, you get to use. Now Control D was there for a while and you'll be able just to simply deploy the um, all flows. So if you move something around, just hit Control D and it'll deploy the node red according to your um, rules. Now, another great one is the clearing a debug. So sometimes in the debug you have plenty of messages and you want to clear them quickly. So that's Control Alt and L and that's your debug cleared. Uh, there is a better search which allows you to search uh, up to 25 items per page. Uh, previously you could only have 25 items in a search result and so if you have lots of different flows you, sh you won't be able to see all the results. Now you'll be able to see them in pages. Now and lastly there's an action list introduced. I've not played with this much but you can access it with uh, shift control and uh, P. So it's going to be here and you'll be able to apply a filter to, to what you're doing. All right, so the shortcuts are covered, so let's uh, talk about a further improvement in interface. So previously, let's delete this. Previously, if you had two nodes and you wanted to add one to it, you'll just uh, hold down Control plus right, uh, left click and you'll get the search menu where you can just search for the node click it and if you want to apply it so you would have to move it over. Now you can do it directly so if you uh, select the wire, control, uh, click down and when you add it it will be automatically uh, added to the wire so you don't have to um, you know move the node around the first to, to connect it. So that's a nice and handy improvement. I'll be using it quite a bit. Another visual improvement is JSON handling. I've talked about JSON uh, handling before. If you want to learn more about JSON, there's a great guide in a corner right now linked for you. Uh, now you have a visual editor, which means instead of typing all, uh, all that, uh, you can simply just start modifying it by creating it in the visual editor. It's a great way if you're new to JSON and if you just want to, you know, change a variable uh, or type of variable without breaking entire JSON or without, um, you know, um, making a mistake. So this way you'll never forget all the uh, brackets, etc. So that's available for you as well. Another thing uh, you can do now is uh, sending messages to a different flow. So previously, let me just switch that to a current flow. Previously, if you wanted to uh, send a message between flows or send a value between flows, you probably use the global context variable uh, for that. Now you can do link out and link in node. A link out will send a, a message to, in this case, flow to. So if you 
if you see in the flow to I have a node called flow to which is linked to so that's the message and this is the flow to one and it's linked to the flow one so when I press now the message I can start a new flow uh, as a trigger in here and you can see that a message has been sent to the flow you can see it in this debug for the current flow and that message isn't present in this one so this is something you, you can do as well and lastly I want to speak about um, the subflows uh, right now we have access to var an environmental variables in the subflows and the state is going to be persistent as well which means if you open the subflow you can assign the value now to assign the value just edit subflow go to prop add properties and you can assign your uh, variables here and name them accordingly so this is a great way to actually uh, do um, like a config file so for example let's say I wanted someone to reconfigure something they could just open this one select the values from the list or assign their own values and then uh, run this flow once after deployment and all the variables would be set uh, with a single action previously I would use several timestamp have a function node etc then set the global variables etc so uh, another advantage of this is even though those are the same subflows uh, they all have their own instances in terms of the variables so if I press this one this one has been sent to true and this one has been set to false so that's another good thing this subflow in particular is very simple what it does it takes the payload and it changes it to its value to the value from the environmental variable named value so that's basically it but you can obviously get that even more complicated right those are the most important changes as the other things like a context explorer or preserving variables uh, after the reboot has been introduced earlier on and they already are in the releases uh, 0.20 so uh, if you already have the 0.20 you'll have access to and uh, the context explorer and preserving the variables you also have two write-ups on that as well they're gonna be linked in my um, article now when it comes to installing and playing around with now, if you want to try out the Node-RED 1.0 currently in beta, there's a couple of things that are recommended. First of all, you're going to use npm to install it. So this is a command to install it and this is command to run. But before you go and install it, I strongly recommend you to check the versions of uh, Node.js and npm um, because so the, uh, otherwise uh, Node-RED is going to give you a couple of warnings. Now the target versions are 12.9 for Node.js and npm 6.11.2 and standard package installer uh, won't update them as high so we'll get the version 10 and version 5.8 and you can modify them further by running those two commands they're linked in uh, articles so if you want to follow that through and install it on your uh, raspbian and uh, then just open that and you can use those two commands from the website Looking at my personal flows, I don't expect any problems switching to Node-RED 1.0 and asynchronous messages. Uh, so um, I'm probably going to take the advantage of the new setups. Uh, so I'll be recreating some of the subflows and creating um, config files using the new environmental variable systems. But that's pretty much everything I'll be doing uh, while switching to Node-RED 1.0. Let me know uh, if you are ready to switch or if you played with Node-RED uh, 1.0. And as usual, guys, there's no posting schedule so if you want to keep in touch and get notified when the new video is up follow me on social media or subscribe to this channel and you're definitely gonna get a notification as for now thanks so much for watching take care bye